Hi folks, Doc Jake from Sioux Nation Ag Center here. Now I'm sure you're familiar with this product over here to my right. I mean, it seems like lick tubs are ubiquitous among cow-calf operations across the United States. But the thing is, is we're not always sure when the best time is to utilize a lick tub. So what I'd like to explore in this video is when is the best time to use a lick tub in order to get the nutrients into our cattle they need so we can get the best bang for our buck. Now the biggest advantage to a lick tub is they are a highly palatable product that cattle will consume on their own. That's why when we wanna get the best bang for our buck when using a lick tub, we try to use them in situations where it's hard to actually feed the cattle what we wanna feed them. So for example, these bulls that are here in a dry lot waiting for breeding season to start are not the ones that I usually target lick tub usage for. Rather, lick tubs shine in situations like this where we're grazing cattle on pasture. Now, there is an exception to this, which is using a stress tub in calves that are freshly weaned in the feedlot, but that's a topic for a different video. When we look at these calves, uh, these heifers that are out here grazing this pasture, it's early spring at this point in time, and the grass is still pretty robust. It's got a lot of energy and it's got a lot of protein in it. This means that we uh, really don't need to supplement protein. That's a big key when we're thinking about lick tubs. The biggest thing that we think about supplementing with a lick tub is protein. But if the grass has plenty of protein in it, then paying for protein through using a lick tub is not necessarily the most cost effective thing if we don't need the protein. Now, there are lick tubs that are useful in these situations because they're more of a mineral tub, not a protein supplement. These are a good way if you're trying to deliver a product that maybe the animals wouldn't consume very well on their own, that might be bitter tasting in a mineral. For example, an IGR for fly control comes to mind. Now as our year moves forward and forage quality changes, then we may be looking at a situation where we might want to be delivering protein to cattle that are out on either dormant pasture or perhaps corn stalks. This is a situation where the lick tub shines. In using a lick tub, we don't have to deliver feed every day, yet we can maintain a fairly consistent intake in the cattle that we want to supplement protein to. For some of you folks out there, you may not like lick tubs. You may have put them out before with your cows and come out two or three days later and the cows have ate the entire thing. They were only supposed to eat a half a pound to a pound per day, so obviously it didn't do any good. I will say that not all lick tubs are created equally. That's one of the reasons why I really appreciate the product that we have for a lick tub at Sioux Nation Ag Center. This is the product that I will use on the cows that we graze in the winter time on a dormant pasture that's very hard to get to. The intakes that we see with them are within the suggested range of that one half to one pound per head per day. The weather does not break them down. If this product did not work for me, I would not tell you to use it on your cows. So that's why I'm very happy with the lick tubs that we have at Sioux Nation Ag Center. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lot. Well, hey doc, say, got a question for you. When would you recommend using a lick tub? When would you recommend using a mineral, just a loose mineral to supplement your cattle out on pasture? That's a great question, generic rancher Ron because the truth is, is loose mineral is always more cost effective to get the mineral into the cattle than using a lick tub product. Doesn't really matter which one you're talking about. First off, if I'm trying to make this decision, I would draw on the question, do the cattle need protein and can I deliver it in a less expensive manner, a more cost effective manner? Uh, if the answer is no, then obviously I would go with the lick tub. The other question I would ask is a consumption question. If we are trying to get this product into the animal, certain animals seem to be more apt to want to get the product from a lick tub than they do from a loose mineral. If I have to make the choice and I'm really trying to increase my uh, conception rate, I'm trying to increase the body condition score on my cows, and I know that I get better results if I deliver my minerals and vitamins in a lick tub than a loose mineral, well then I guess I'll go with the lick tub in that case. However, if we're in a situation where we're feeding the cattle every day, uh, consider uh, dry lighting your cows over the winter to get through the winter time. I'm not very apt to use a lick tub in that case because I can deliver the loose mineral in the feed that I'm feeding to the cows. 
if I'm already grinding the hay in the silage and mixing them in with the mixer wagon, I might as well mix the loose mineral in. That way I know that the cows are getting every bite they need. Force feeding a mineral is always gonna give you better results than free choicing a mineral, be it loose or in a lick tub. The last caveat I'd like to share about our Sioux Nation line of lick tubs is that because we make them, we make a wide variety of lick tubs to fit everybody's individual situation. If you need added in products, for example, using garlic for fly control, we have a lick tub with that. If you need a higher level of protein than the normal 20% protein, we've got a lick tub for that too. Work with us at our either locations or with your field marketer to find what's gonna work the best for your operation, be it a lick tub, a loose mineral, or any other animal product that you're looking for. Because at Sioux Nation Ag Center, our goal is to get you what you need works that will work with your operation because what works for you is always the best at feeding that bottom line. You met. Hey, Doc! How you doing? Hey, Doc! <laughs> that just didn't. <laughs> it's kind of odd having somebody watch you take a bath, you know. <laughs> He's got pants on, people. <laughs> oh, sure. Move now. When I was setting up for the video. Thanks a lot, dweeb. They're all running away. They're all running down the hill. I left the gate open. Those dirt bags.